I am using these low profile ramps. In this way, I'm going to have more space for the trolley jack. When using these kind of ramps, make sure to center the tires on the ramps and make sure that the ramps are able to support the weight of your car. I use something to stop the rear tires. I use handbrake and parking in auto and neutral and handbrake in manual. I always use the cross member to jack up the front of the car. Anyway, I always check the service manual before doing anything like this. I always select an even, strong and flat surface. It is important that the wheels of the trolley jack can move without restriction because while the car is being lifted, the jack is going to move forward. These are the lifting points of this particular car. Check always the user manual or the service manual or Google it, but be sure that you are using the correct lifting points. Failing this will damage your car and it will be very expensive to fix it. I always check a couple of times that the stands are allocated in a correct position before lifting the whole weight of the car on them. Once the car is on the stands, check the car to confirm that the car is supported properly. Once the car is lifted in the front, I go to the rear and I select the rear cross member, but stop right here because there are some cars that cannot be lifted using the rear cross member. They usually have a warning sign. They are usually small cars like the Suzuki Swift. And if you use the rear cross member to support the car, it's gonna bend and you will damage the car. I always use my trolley jack as a backup. I leave it hardly touching the cross member or one of the lifting points of the car. If I remove the tires, I always use the tires as well underneath the car. So this gives me time in case the jack stands fail. Once you have finished working the car, just start from the rear of the vehicle and then go for the front. So that's it. Uh, just remember that working underneath the car might be dangerous. If you don't take the time and you don't follow the safety precautions, you might damage the car, you might get an injury, or you might die. Uh, I know that because I saw someone dying under a car because that person only used a trolley jack to support the car. And the trolley jack failed and he died. So just take care of yourself and have fun working on your car.